Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm Nuts About Stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix Big Shot project featuring the Big Shot. Here's what you're going to make today. I decided that because it's National Scrapbooking Month for the month of May, that we would make a scrapbook page using the Big Shot so I can show you that the Big Shot isn't just for cards or 3D projects. Here's what you need to make this project, and I promise at the end of the video I will have a close-up picture on my blog as well as the dimensions and the measurements and the list of ingredients for everything that you need. To make the scrapbook page, you're going to need some Going Gray cardstock, some Whisper White cardstock, some Baja Breeze cardstock, and I used the Urban Garden Designer Series paper, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful pack of Designer Series paper, which is actually our May special. You can buy three packs of Designer Series paper and get one more for free. I also am going to use the Big Shot, and I'm going to use the Little Leaves Sizzlet die. I've got some Dazzling Diamonds glitter in my Rubbermaid container and a two-way glue pen. You're going to need some Stampin' Dimensionals and your snail adhesive. I'm going to use the Baja Breeze Cla Classic Stamping Pad to stamp my butterfly. Some paper snips. And then to make the butterfly image, I'm using my Great Friend Stamp Set, which is featured in the Occasions Mini Catalog. All right, so let me show you how you get this all together. I'm going to bring my Big Shot in. You need the platform and you need um, your sizzlet die to be sitting on tab one. So there's my sizzlet die. And I'm going to take a scrap piece of going gray cardstock, make the sandwich, I'm putting the top plate on, and then I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. move this out of my way and then you get this image here and what you want to do is just gently with your fingernail poke out the little leaves image like this to do it oh so gently like that now what I did was before the video started recording I did that two more times because you want three images for your scrapbook page. Okay, and I'll bring in the pieces and I'm going to assemble it. The scrapbook page is quick and easy, so if you haven't scrapbooked yet, you definitely want to seriously consider it. It's wonderful to record your memories, your thoughts, your feelings. You don't have to start with such a big scrapbook using 12 by 12 paper, but you, you could do as small as 6 by 6 or 8.5 by 11. Okay, so I'm going to put that on like that, and then I'm going to take my Urban Garden Designer Series paper strip, and I'm going to put it at the top. And then I've got three pieces of Baja Breeze. And I'm leaving a wide open space along here so that you can put some photographs. Put that one on there, and then one more to go. And then I, I decided that on my scrapbook page, I'm going to have one 4x6 picture. And it'll be a feature picture, like that. And then what I want to do is I want to put on the little leaves, like so. And to do it like that, to adhere it on, I'm going to use my two-way glue pen. Move this out of the way so I don't get glue on it. 
and I'm just going to put some spots of glue on it. And just for effect, I'm going to have my leaves, my branch with my leaves on it, going in different directions up my scrapbook page, just for visual interest. And it's not important to me that all the leaves are adhered flat to the page. I think it gives it a nice effect to have them, some of them off and some of them on. There we go. All right, so we've got that so far. So that's pretty quick and easy. And then for the butterfly image, I want to bring in my Whisper White cardstock, my Great Friends stamp set, and my butterfly. I'm going to ink up my butterfly and stamp it down like so. And then at this point, I would cut it out. And I've gone ahead and done that. I don't want you to suffer through the agony of watching me cut around the butterfly. So I went ahead and did that. And then I just want to gently fold my butterfly. So again, it's uh, like it has an added dimension to it. I'm going to use one Stampin' Dimensional right where the fold line is. And then bring in my scrapbook page, and then I just decided that my butterfly should sit at an angle like that. You can fold it up a little bit more so it adds some dimension. And as it is, it's very pretty, but I love to use glitter on all of my projects. I think our Dazzling Diamonds glitter is the best glitter in the world. And so I'm going to bring back my two-way glue pen, and I'm just going to add some spots of glue where I'd like the glitter to stick. And then I'm going to hold my scrapbook page over my container of glitter and then just spoon on the glitter onto my image. And the glitter is only going to stick where the glue is. And there you go. That completes the scrapbook page using the Big Shot and the Little Leaves Sizzle It die. Thanks for stopping by to see my video today, and I hope that you will visit my blog site, and I'll have the address on the information um, after my video. Please visit my blog site for a list of ingredients and the dimensions used for all, this, um, all the materials for this project. And don't forget you can sign up for my online newsletter as well. I'm Terry, and I'm Nuts About Stamping. See you soon.